Alright, so I'm up. Today I'm going to be taking you through my day. A little bit later than anticipated, but I'm up. And I've got quite an eventful day today, considering we're fucking locked in. So, have a watch. I have a routine that I like to stick to pretty much every day. I'm pretty consistent with it. Sometimes it changes, but this is what I'm up to today. Oh. In the morning, so I usually have one of these. In there. Water, obviously. Lemon and sea salt. It's meant to replace the electrolytes you lose while you sleep. I read that in a book called Own the Day by Aubrey Marcus. He's friends with Joe Rogan and Joe Rogan does it, so his word is gospel to me. Towards the end, it does get a bit... Tastes like seawater, because it's sea salt in water. Cheers, Jeff. But enough talking. I neck this off, so let's go. Cheers. I don't know if it's like a placebo or what, but I can feel that, that, that it, it, it wakes me. Definitely want to hear that one again. That, 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 it, it. Are you broken? It wakes me up, like it does make me feel like hydrated, I suppose. It's good shit. It's not too bad as well. So anyone watching that wants to feel properly hydrated in the morning, I would recommend giving it a try. Like I said, like I said, it's literally just a sea salt, lemon and water. So yeah, give it a whirl. Let me know how you get on down there. Come to realize this is the way you need to do it. This kind of angle, I think it makes it sit better with YouTube and look better. I don't want to look professional and slick. Oh yeah, that's the money shot. That's the money shot. I like to weigh myself first thing in the morning. Gives a good idea of what we're working with. Yeah, we're about 70, which is not too bad. I want to be about 67 and I'm not doing fuck all, so I've got time to get shredded and get down there and fight at like 67, so it's not all bad. See if there's uh, anyone waiting for me downstairs. I have a feeling there might be. Wait, so you're you going to do me like that now, are you? No, I'm going to say good morning. I see your tower. Oh, oh, you want me to rub your belly? Oh, that's fair. Oh, I can do that. I can oblige. Alright. Alright, gonna go get changed, then I'm gonna go run. I'm fucking sweating in this jumper, I don't know why the fuck I put it on. Actually, colour coordinated today. And I'm gonna wear this hat backwards, so I don't look like a complete nonce. But yeah, I'm gonna go for probably about a 6k run now. So, I'll see you all on the other side. Fucking hell. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, bit of context now. I always sprint at the end of my road. It's about 70 metres, so yeah, I do that to finish off the run. It's quite, well, I would say fun. It's not, it's fucking hard, but it's what I do. One eternity later. Fuck. If you like that, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget the thumbs up. Subscribe for me. I'm blowing up my ass. Hey, that's good. I'm glad I did it. Back to normal now. It is currently quarter to one. So give me 15 minutes and we'll get the next workout in. Fuck okay, it. We'll get down there a minute early. If you know this fucking handsome fella. All right, mate. I'm not going to bore you by making you watch my whole workout, but I will do a very, very slick time lapse. So enjoy that. Raindrop, drop top. I got Migos to pass the weed. I'm not offset, but I set off with the takeoff. Probably why the hottie got a body like Cardi B. Bob Marley, I passed the weed past the tree because my lyrics are a masterpiece. You can find me in the house like I'm Marley G. And I got a motherfucking house like I'm Charlie Sheen. Fuck my ex, I can't stand her. Fuck my friends, I ain't Chandler. All right, so that's pretty much me for the morning. Did 6K, then down the shed, dojo even. Anyone that cares, I did five rounds on Bob, three rounds on the bag at the back, then three rounds shadow. I use Bob for punches, mainly, but he's all right to kick, but I like kicking the bag, and obviously, he's got no legs, so if you want to kick fucking solid metal, that's on you, but it's not a bit of me. Now, probably gonna go have some food, definitely have some food, not probably. Hell yeah. If you follow me on Instagram, which you all should be by now, You'll know that I eat this pretty much every day for breakfast. So I'll insert the macros here. Well, that was smooth. 
<laughs> yeah, I have it pretty much every day for breakfast. I like it, it's healthy, and it tastes good. Well, I'm not gonna act like I'm this super busy guy, like we're, or we're all in quarantine, but this is one of my busier days. Now I'm just gonna go relax, play PS4. I like to play UFC, so if I get a good knockout, I'll show you. Oh, left hook, Larry. I say you gotta watch out for that left hook, boys. Yeah, I got the highlight reel finish with Bisping. Fun fact, one of my friends saw Bisping in a pub once and I asked him to get a video of him saying that Frankie's the best or something like that. I asked him to get a video of him praising me. This is what I got. Frankie is an absolute chance. Yeah, thanks for that, mate. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Get to speak to him on the phone for a little bit. He was having a few beers, he was having a laugh with us. It was a pretty cool experience, to be honest with you. But shout out to Bisping, who's definitely not watching this, but shout out to you, Bisping. So I know what a lot of you are probably thinking. I don't give a fuck about your porridge. I don't care about what you got up to today. The reason why some of you clicked on this video is because of the title, and I'm not clickbaiting you. I know what you're probably thinking. Get your kit off, and I will, I will. For those of you that don't know, I did naked modeling before. So I'll insert a picture here, and here. Yeah, so I did that last time, so I'm doing it again today. Obviously, we're quarantined. I'll be doing it over Zoom. So, yeah, to be honest with you, last time I did it, but it was a big confidence booster. You know, I'm standing in a room of people, stark bollock naked, and they're all drawing me. I've got some funny stories about that, actually, but I'm going to save that because soon I'll potentially be starting a podcast. So if you're interested in that, let me know below. All right, so because this is online on Zoom, I won't actually be able to be nude. But it doesn't really matter because even if you was watching this, you wouldn't see me naked anyway. The point is that I'm doing it again and vlogging my day in the meantime. So we're about five minutes away from, from me going on Zoom and going to do this. If I'm being completely honest, I am feeling a little bit nervous. I don't know why, because I've done this before, as you can see by the thumbnail. But I don't know why I'm feeling nervous, because last time I literally did it in a room full of people completely naked. What, like, what's the worst that's going to happen? I think are people going to laugh at you. I doubt it because they know that it actually takes balls to go in there. Last time I did it, test scores were an actual requirement. But that's not the point. So one thing that does need to change, I need to get my kit off. So you better like and subscribe. All right, showtime. All right, anyone watching this saying they wouldn't try and get a pump on before going on a webcam in front of 17 other women. Other women, I'm not a woman, but you know what I mean. You're a liar. You said if you wouldn't do that, you're a liar. Bosh. We're in. So just a bit of context now, I have to pick a silly face and I have to draw my face. <laughs> have a look, I've just discovered Pornhub. Alright, now it's the moment of truth. It's what it's all come down to. It's why you've all sat through this shit video for so long. It's time for me to get the kit off. Anyone that knows me knows I've got no problem getting my kit off. Anyone that knew me back in the day when I was a bit of a legend. I'm a bit of a bore now, but back in the day, we will mind getting my kit off. Just say get naked. Why do you keep saying get your kit off? It's fucking pissing me off to be honest. You ain't even naked. You've only taken your shirt off. All right, so that's that done. But I cropped it down quite a bit because to be honest with you, it's not that interesting to watch. It's just me chatting shit over the top of it. And you probably had enough of that now. This video is like nine or so minutes long, maybe less. But if you're interested in seeing more of me, drop a thumbs up. There'll be a lot more content to come after all this blows over. Obviously, like everyone else will be getting on with their lives. One thing as well, if you're interested in seeing me start a podcast, comment podcast below. Yeah, I've got quite a lot of stories that some people probably think are funny. They're definitely entertaining. Some people probably find them quite weird, but they're entertaining. I've done a lot of weird, funny kind of... I wouldn't say cool shit, but I've got a lot of stories and I like chatting shit. Anyone that knows me knows that's true as well. So yeah, drop a thumbs up, comment, and thanks for watching. Paid the cost to be the boss. I almost forgot. You should probably subscribe as well. That's pretty essential.